name is Katherine Hawes, and I would like to take the next few minutes to talk about how to actually write when you're a busy person and you have a little bit of time. So if you have been following along with this channel, you know that I am in my car because that is the time that I have to write and on my lunch breaks or a little bit before or after work. And then sometimes at like 6 a.m. I have slots of time to write. So what do I do when I have little slivers? Um, and what do you do when you have little slivers? I would remind you that having five minutes, 10 minutes, little pockets of time, that is enough to write something even if it's small. Um, having really big chunks of time is nice to have, but I don't have that all the time. So what do you write in your little pockets? Planning ahead of time it has been very helpful for me. So planning um, where you're going to write and what you're going to write. And by where, I mean if you're going to write in a notebook, in your notes app, on your phone, on a computer, in an email that you send to yourself, or by voice recording. Having that in mind as a decision that's already done will help you when you do have that sliver of time. You know, all right, I got this with me. I'm going to like do that, or I got notes app on my phone. That's what I'm going to use in this little bit of time. Then planning what you're going to write. So for example, in this video, I have these uh, ideas written down beforehand. I'm not coming up with them right now. I did this part previously. Also, if you're writing fiction, um, knowing what scene you'd like to work on or what you need to brainstorm more about and going into your writing time with a little bit of an idea is very helpful, at least for me. Ooh, what I forgot to mention was that something that has helped me in drafting, and I forget where I first heard this, but stopping your writing session in the middle of a sentence for when you have to leave, and then coming back with like half a sentence or in the middle of a scene, like stopping in the middle of something makes coming back to it a whole lot easier. If you're trying to find time to write more than just the little margins, look at your schedule and see what you're already doing and think about where you can have intentional writing time. So that's what I did with these times in my car. I have on my planner, I'm like, hey, we're going to be writing in the car at lunch on this day. There are some days that I take a walk and I'm not in my car. So looking at the time that you already have and deciding what you want to do with it. Remembering why you want to write can be helpful in the times when you like have 10 minutes and which isn't enough time to do some things and it's like too long to just like sit and instead of scrolling on your phone, remember, hey, this writing is a part of my life that I intentionally want to be there because it makes me feel better as a person. I want to continue doing it. In a previous video, we talked about our why. If you haven't seen that, you can go check it out. And I also, I will close with this reminder. Sometimes your writing life is soaking in things like a sponge being observant, living your life, and you might not pick up a pen for weeks or months, but that time is still important because it's still part of the garden of your mind, and sometimes we need a little bit of winter and rest and soaking things in so that we can use that later in other times. So if you're in a winter right now, don't beat yourself up about that. And 
breathe a little easier. You don't always have to be running full steam ahead every single day, every single moment. You don't, I, I release for you from that. You don't have to. <laughs> so, with that, I'll invite you to write a little bit. We got, we got a little bit of time. Let's talk about what season you feel like your life is right now for a couple minutes, all right? What season does your life look like? I'll meet you in a second. <laughs> pens down I was a little surprised about what I wrote I didn't even know I was gonna be writing about that ha okay <laughs> well I hope that uh, you have a lovely rest of your day and I will say ciao for now <laughs>